in one of my videos that I have uploaded here on YouTube. Uh, <coughs> I have a review about my i10 Direct um, cargo trailer for my bicycle train that I used to have. I don't have it anymore. Well, this is the uh, this is the i10 Direct bicycle trailer. Let's take it outside. This is what it used to be. This is what it used to be. See, that's the uh, the metal frame. You see it there, and over that thing, those two marks there. Those are where the wheels used to be. That's the uh, plastic bin, and that's all it has left. Why? Well, because I decided it to build a bigger cargo trailer, but this time it's not going to be for my bike. Because I don't have my bicycle anymore. Uh, I have my scooter. And you also know my scooter, because uh, <coughs> I also have uh, another video of my, my Honda Wave over there. But the reason <coughs> that I'm building a bigger cargo trailer, which is going to be attached to over there in that little black post here, okay, uh, that's where the hitch go, <coughs> and this is how I modify my trailer. The only original parts on it the hitch this thing it's original same as this but so burned out burned out right now and the uh, wheel post over there so this is what I this is what I built okay so <clears throat> as this thing is going to be my business because I'm gonna sell food and I have the uh, the, the uh, two ice coolers here, the ones that are going to be inside there, because I still need to to build the walls, you know. So, those two ice coolers are going to be there. I already checked this. And uh, it's not heavy. It's very lightweight. Even even it's uh, all metal and it's lightweight, you can carry it even with a finger. And I decided to put this stand here that also used to uh, be on my bike, on my bicycle. This one here. And uh, let me show it to you. With the two coolers on, that's the place of the coolers. And we still have space here because I'll show you. There's going to be a piece of wood here, obviously the size of that. And I need the coolers to open the lid 90 degrees, like it, like this. I need them to be open like this. It's all going to be covered up by wood. Well, it's going to be like this. I need them to be 90 degrees. So, <coughs> it's going to be all covered up by wood except on this side. Which it will come with a piece of wood like this. Okay, so that I can open my ice coolers from here. Uh, this thing is going to be like about this high. And uh, obviously here, it's where I'm gonna mount a three, quar three quarters of an inch piece of wood. That's going to be the floor. And on that floor, the two ice coolers are going to be resting 
here is going to be a wall here is going to be a wall also here all this thing is going to be covered up and here there's going to be a wall but more like a door I'm going to open I'm going to open this door so I can take out the coolers and put them in now I've already made some tests on it uh, I attach my cargo trailer to my bike and I stand up on it and it's a very solid one I mean it's a very solid build no issues uh, even for these uh, two mini wheels here those are 16 inches okay we can see there 16 by 2.125 but of course I'm gonna change them because I, I don't like them like this but well uh, it's a uh, it's a really strong build I reinforced it with oh, with this steel here as you can see it there as you can see it here this is the reinforcement but it's also where the uh, wood it's going to be Oh, <coughs> so excuse me <coughs> all screwed here I already placed the uh, the marks here where the, where the screws are going to hold down the wood floor 